Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a ton of new information to go over for a wide variety of Pokemon things. We've got Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, Pokemon Worlds, plenty of stuff to break down today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new, ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we have some new Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet pre-orders. These are really, really cool figurines that are only, at the moment, available in the UK and also Spain. It's been revealed, and also in the West as well. Um, we, we went over it a little bit in a previous video, but now more locations have been confirmed to be getting this new figurine. Um, so, this is a game in UK saying, uh, we have a special announcement. Trainers get a model of the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet starter Pokemon when you pre-order from game all current pre-orders will also receive the bonus too and this is the figurine i mean i never pre-order from game at all nothing against them i just always go with different options but this might be twisting my arm i absolutely love this figurine i, I want it in the background um of, of the office and yeah it's got all the starters it's not like you just get one of the three you get fue coco sprigatito and quaxley all on this figurine so yeah this is available um for everybody in the uk but it is exclusively from game so you won't get this from like the pokemon center website or anything like that and it's also been confirmed to be available in spain now as well um so the game stores in spain have confirmed the figurine of sprigatito fue coco and quaxley as a gift for reserving pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet so because it's now available in the uk and spain it would not surprise me if this becomes available everywhere in europe or most places in europe so like germany um and and italy and stuff like that all those big uh, european countries will probably get um something similar or if not the exact same thing but which i hopefully it becomes available everywhere because this is a really cool figurine and you know I, I know there's a lot of american viewers that you know won't be able to get this and you know we'll hope to get this at some point so fingers crossed uh one store in in america does do this kind of promotional campaign too uh, but yeah this is some new pre-orders for pokemon scarlet and violet some new figurines um and yeah they look absolutely insane and i can't wait to uh pre-order it from game now and, and get it so yeah, might be, uh, be pre-ordering it from game this year just because this figurine looks so cool. Uh, next up, we're going to go over this, which is, which is all about the Gen 9 anime. Uh, confirms that obviously we are getting a Generation 9 anime for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Um, also kind of confirms that Ash is going to be back. There's a lot of kind of rumors and stuff stating that Ash probably won't be back for, for the next anime series but um the fact that pikachu is in this new anime poster and stuff like that shows that it pr he probably will be back um so this was posted by amart yesh saying gen 9 official anime posters the gen mech uh so obviously the generation 9 um gimmick the crystallization this was posted before um the uh, the latest trailer for pokemon scarlet and violet this this image so back then we didn't really know what this was of course now we know it's all about like testro test terrestrializing and all that stuff um, obviously when this was posted we didn't know what it was but either way uh, there's a yellow one besides pikachu which is obviously an electric type one the green one besides brigatito which is grass type the red one beside Foy coco which is the fire type and then the blue beside quaxley which is a water type so yeah this is all like the terrestrial kind of um gems and stuff that they'll obviously be going into detail about in the pokemon scarlet and violet anime and then red violet looks like mirror we saw at the end of trailer two i think they also dropped another poster as well which kind of um confirmed these pokemon as like rideable and stuff like that it might even be this one here you can kind of see the coridans um kind of on all fours here uh, which obviously we we didn't know that they were rideable we were very we had quite a good inkling that they were gonna be but obviously it was confirmed in the latest trailer but yeah just some more gen 9 anime stuff there confirms that uh they're obviously gonna be is, is gonna be a sprig a, a sprigatito fue coco quaxley um anime and then yeah ash is probably gonna be back in it as well because pikachu is there unless there's another protagonist with pikachu as their main main um partner pokemon but it's probably going to be ash at this point in time so that's some gen 9 stuff there uh next up we're gonna go over this as well so this was a new trademark register by uh game freak once again no idea what this is for um it could be for merch i don't think it's going to be a new game but either way this was posted by uh amy at japan saying okay now nintendo and game freak registered this pikachu as a trademark game category uh new game so it was actually trademarked as a game category which i didn't actually realize um so that's kind of interesting i don't know what it could potentially be for maybe like a new mobile game or something like that straight off the bat i thought there was something to do with like merch or something but it is a game category um 
registration trademark. So I, I honestly don't know. I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe a new mobile game or something like that um, might be announced in like the next Pokemon Presents or something, whenever that's going to be. Um, but either way, there has been a new trademark in the game category for Pokemon, and it's this. So whatever this could potentially be, absolutely no idea. What do you guys think it is? Um, maybe something to do with like lights or something, because this tail is kind of like lit up in like the silhouette background. So who knows? Anyway, new game category trademark. Uh, and next up, we're going to go over some more things that have been confirmed for Worlds, which of course uh, is taking place from the 18th, or well, the 17th to the to the 24th. Um, but either way, uh, this is exclusive Pokemon coin set revealed for London Pokemon Center pop-up store. Um, so it was actually posted by Cerebi who got the exclusive. So Cerebi update, we have the exclusive global reveal of two pieces of merchandise exclusive to the Pokemon Center pop-up at the World Championships next week. Coin, damage counters, and V-Star marker set, main look, and city. So I don't think this has got anything to do with Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Of course, we are getting the new TCG cards, um, the, the, the reveal of those at Worlds. And again, there could be a new Pokemon from the Generation 9 games featured on that. Uh, but I don't think it has anything to do with uh, this. This is just a, some extra merch. If you go into Worlds, I'm very jealous. Hope you have a fantastic time. Uh, but yeah, this is just some more things that you can pick up whilst you're there. The store will be selling two coin sets containing a Pikachu and Boast coin, damage markers and a V-Store marker, all collected in an exclusive case. The collections will be available in two different editions, main look and city set, and the cases and coins differ accordingly. Check out the images below for a closer look at those uh, lovely looking exclusive items. So again, I think this is only available um, at this store. And like I said, the store will open in the following dates and times. So Wednesday, August the 12th. Uh, August the 17th, 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. Thursday, August the 18th, and then to Saturday, August uh, 20th, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then Sunday, August 21st. It's basically in a couple weeks, uh, Pokemon Worlds is. So definitely keep your eyes out for that because I'm sure a lot more stuff will be um, popping off there. Just like this as well. This is also just being confirmed. Cerebi update. Pokemon the Arceus Chronicles special will be available on Netflix from September the 23rd following a, a special screening at the World Championship. So... Yeah, it's a special kind of um, mini series or something like that. It's, it's all about, well, obviously Legends Arceus and stuff. You can clearly see the, uh, I think they've got the Garchomp um, uniform on here. They've also got like the the Hisuian Pokeballs there. Dawn's back, Brock's back, Cynthia's back, Arceus is there. Um, the Lake Trio is also there. I'm sure Dialga and Palkia uh, will be there too. Um, maybe even Giratina. But yeah, this is just a new mini series, And I guess they're going to show like the first episode or something like that at the world championships um but either way after that will be available on netflix from september the 23rd um so yeah keep your eyes out for that if you if you wanted to uh, wanted to watch that and then finishing things off this is just some more pokemon scarlet and violet stuff uh, i just wanted to quickly go over this because it just kind of it kind of emphasizes how different everybody's experience is going to be with these games um so this was posted by pldh um saying with pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet's map released we can start charting out our journeys through the paldea region what direction do you plan on heading first is there a particular landmark or town that interests you i'm heading west really intrigued by this sundial like gym um so yeah the, the good thing about pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet is that you can literally do anything at the start of the game you, you can choose one of the stories to kind of um i guess go full frontal to because obviously there's the there's the um there's the gym leader and elite four story there's the evil team story with like the racing flags and stuff and then there's also the other story with all the towers and everything and not only that you can literally go in any direction you want as well so there's going to be gyms in different cities all across the map and you can go to any of them in any audio. Of course, some will be stronger than the others. There's no level scaling in this game. So, you know, if you do go west and you take on the Sundial Gym, like, obviously there's no linear kind of um, route in these games. But maybe this guy's in this gym leader's got, like, level 30s or something. And if you rock up with your level 5 Quaxley, it might not end too well. Um, so, yeah, there's probably, like, a linear levelage, kind of. That's not even a word. But, you know what I mean? Like, a linear kind of level... Um, like increase throughout the gyms that they'd expect you to do but of course you can do any in any order and uh, not only that heading west first also lets me check uh, our other spots that catch eyes uh the desert from the trailer i like deserts which of course you can get stun journey in but that is a var scholar exclusive uh, this oasis town built over a body of water and the northwestern corner that reminds me of the Akala region in Breath of the Wild permanently swept under by autumnal uh, leaves. So again, if you do go west, uh, like you can literally go north, um, east, west, whatever. 
um, and you will literally come across like a different experience. So you can like, I don't know, maybe one the first time you play Scarlet and Violet, you do the gym one first, the gym story, and then you go north. And then the second time you play, you go like east first and then you go west or something the, the third time you play and then the fourth time you, you play maybe you do a different story first or something like that um but that's what i love about these games you, literally every single time you play it you will experience something like differently which again is what i think pokemon needs to just allow the replayability but to, to just i don't know just be like be good you know um but either way these large holes over a hill above the desert also feel like a question begging for an answer. I'm guessing it's a cave and its entrance may be obscured from view, but it'd be cool if you could climb up with Koraiden slash Maraiden and then leap into the hole to explore. Uh, again, there's going to be like different Pokemon scattered all over the shop. So, you know, if you do go west first, your team is going to look completely different um, to, to like, let's say you go um, east first, you know. Someone that goes east is going to have a different team to someone that goes west. Um which is really good because usually when you play through a game um like let's say when you play through Sinnoh you're probably going to catch a Shinx at the start maybe a Starly um stuff like that so your team's kind of always the same um as like everyone else's that plays the game with these games they're going to be different you know everyone's team is going to be like properly different um because they're all going to take obviously different paths and stuff like that um, but either way, that's kind of everything for today's news roundup. Again, all the pre-order bonuses for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that we know of so far. Um, again, when we do get more pre-orders and stuff, I'll always update you guys, um, etc. Because, you know, there's, there's, there's going to be a lot on the lead up to, uh, to these Generation 9 games dropping. Um, but either way, if you did enjoy the video, please do consider hitting the... The, the like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Uh, and that's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.